Now, have you been using retinol? Comment below and let me know if you have been using any form of a retinol that is. Today we're going to talk about retinol. Is it good for your skin? Who need to use retinol? And is retinol really good for acne prone skin? So but if you're new to retinol or you're already using retinol, this video is for you. So continue watching. Now first thing first, what is retinol? Now retinol is really a vitamin A. It is a fat soluble in the vitamin A family. You can find it in food and it is often used as a dietary supplement. However, retinol, vitamin A, is also used on the skin topically. Now what does retinol use for on the skin? Retinol increases cell production. It also helps to unclog pores and it also helps to increase collagen production. It is also known to exfoliate the skin. Increasing collagen production will help to decrease wrinkles and fine lines on the skin, giving your skin that plumper appearance. Now, who need to use retinol? Now, retinol might not be for those people with overly sensitive skin since it can irritate the skin. Now caution is necessary when using any form of a vitamin A skincare products on the skin or vitamin A on a whole. Whether you are using a supplement it should be used with caution since it is a very strong and highly concentrated and if you have sensitive skin then it could easily irritate the skin. So not everyone need to use retinol on their skin or should be using retinol on the skin. However, if you do not have sensitive skin and you're getting to the point where your skin is aging, it is really, really good to use on the skin. Now the disadvantage of using retinol on the skin, retinol can cause a sun sensitivity. This means that while using retinol, your skin could be very sensitive to ultraviolet ray. And that is one of the reasons why retinol is encouraged to use at nighttime, preferably use at night. It is also best when you're going to start using retinol if you can definitely consult your dermatologist, which they will guide you in what retinol you need for your skin. What are the pros and cons of using retinol on the skin? Retinol works best when used daily or let's say nightly on the skin since light and air deactivate some types of retinol. Now, if you use retinol and you experience any form of a redness, any form of a rash, any form of a burning sensation, it is best to cut down and using your retinol every day to probably every other day or at least one to two times per week. Now, here's something you might not know that retinol is also known for removing skin hyperpigmentation, spots, and blemishes. And here is another thing that some of you might not be aware of is that retinol is also known to help with acne prone skin. So if you're out there and you're struggling with acne on the skin, you can use retinol. And you don't really have to be an adult to use the retinol on the skin if you have acne prone skin. You can use it and you can use it nightly on the skin. Now, how does the retinol work on the skin? So products containing retinol works on the skin by boosting your skin renewal process which help to diminish signs of aging on your complexion. Now one other vitamin that retinol is a little similar to is vitamin C and that is one vitamin that you could alternate with retinol. Now if your problem is fine lines and wrinkles then you should start incorporating retinol in your skincare routine. Now if your problem is lightening and brightening the skin along with reducing wrinkles and fine lines then it's good to use your vitamin C um, alternate with your retinol. Now can you use retinol with hyaluronic acid? Yes, you can use retinol with hyaluronic acid. As a matter of fact, that is the only acid that I personally would recommend that you use retinol with. All the other acid like alpha hydroxy acid are really, really too harsh to mix with retinol. You do not need to mix another acid, another harsh ingredients when you're using retinol on the skin. 
Now you might be wondering at what age should I start using retinol on the skin? The honest truth is there are no set age in which to start using retinol. I remember I just told you that if you have acne and most people that have acne are normally like in their teens and their early 20s and they can use the retinol on the skin for acne. However, if your issue is fine lines and wrinkles and you're trying to prevent then it's good to start using retinol believe it or not in your 20s years ago people used to think only if you're like in your 50s upwards then you need retinol because that is when you really start to see lines and wrinkles obvious lines and wrinkles on the skin but prevention is always better than curing so definitely using retinol in your 20s is okay and if you're using it for mild acne you can even start using it at a younger age now should you moisturize your skin after retinol now there are different different grades of retinol if you have a retinol moisturizer the moisturizer is already mixed in with the retinol and if you have just a straight up retinol and you know so for some people it might dry the skin out yes you can use a moisturizer on top of it but if your cream that you're using is stating this is a retinol moisturizer or a retinol cream most likely it already have moisturizer in properties however depending on your skin need you might need to add a little bit of a moisturizer you can also choose to use a drop of oil above your retinol cream a good oil to use is like a papaya seed oil or rosehip seed oil or even some pomegranate seed oil one to two drops now does retinol damage your skin after using it for a long time now retinol could leave your skin more prone to sun damage so it's important to apply a sunscreen daily now you might be wondering do you need to wash your retinol off your face in the mornings now go ahead and do your regular morning skincare routine so if you are the type that wash your face cleanse your face every morning go ahead and cleanse your face if you're the type that just use a makeup wipe in the morning um, go ahead and use that makeup wipe in the morning if you're the type that do a thorough routine in the morning go ahead and do that and if you're the type that you just use the retinol at night and do nothing much to your face in the morning and then that is okay but definitely wash at night before you apply more retinol on the skin now what age is too old to start using retinol on the skin is 60 too old no there's no age limit of when to use retinol you can use retinol from your 20s all the way up to 100 if you know you live that long which i personally wish i could live to see 100 just basically to see what my skin would look like at that age now how do you know if retinol is working on the skin now for most products you need at least a six week to see result with retinol between two to six weeks you should start seeing some form of a result on the skin however around about the four to six week mark is when most people start to see some form of a result from using retinol on the skin now the changes could be subtle but gradually you will know notice the difference and if you don't notice the difference sometimes others will notice the difference on your skin now when it comes on to serum you might want to know what serum not to mix with retinol alpha hydroxy glycolic acid lactic acid mandalilic acid apple cider vinegar beta hydroxy acid so once there's an acid at the end of your serum don't mix it with retinol and that is why I recommend earlier that the only acid that I allow with retinol is hyaluronic acid which is a pretty pretty mild and it works on the skin by locking moisture in the skin will not irritate the skin when you use the retinol other than that hop for like some papaya serum some avocado serum some squalene like for the chichi beauty supreme serum or even the chichi beauty turmeric serum now what is the best retinol cream out there on the market 
the honest truth everyone's skin is different i might use a retinal cream it works great on my skin i love it and you might use a retinal cream from another brand it works great for you so it's very pretty hard to tell which is the best retinal cream out there i would say it's a trial and error however i can swear for the chicha beauty retinal cream this is the one i personally use on my skin i use it nightly on my skin and i use my papaya and also sometimes my avocado my supreme serum with this retinal cream when i use this retinal cream on my skin i just cleanse my skin and apply the serum and then i just pat the retinal cream you know a little bit all over my skin and you do not rub the retinal cream in the skin like that just slowly spread it all over your skin and also try to avoid your eye area when you're using retinol so go ahead put your eye cream on and then you just spread that retinal cream over your face and yes it is okay to take your retinal cream down on the neck on a dead clothes now if you have normal skin leave it just as is however if you have really sensitive skin and you feel like you need an extra layer go ahead put a drop of oil and that's how you apply a retinol on the skin now if you're using a retinol for acne prone skin then go ahead and cleanse your skin the way you normally do with whatever acne prone ingredient that you're using and then you can choose to apply the retinal cream directly on where you have the acne or you can choose to apply it all over the skin do not rub it in your skin just spread it over the acne just like you would apply it if there's no acne on the skin now one more question is should you apply retinol on dry skin or a wet skin my advice is to be let your skin dry before you apply retinol. I find that when you apply retinol on wet skin, it might be more lead to irritation. So it's best to let your skin dry. And do you use a toner when you're using your retinol? Yes, spritz your toner or wipe your toner on your face and let it dry, let it totally dry. And then if you're using your serum, apply it on the face and let the serum dry. And then go ahead after about a minute or or two and apply your retinal cream does a retinal tighten the skin now retinal can help to improve skin firmness which will lead to a more tighter looking skin so I suggest that you do a facial massage regularly I personally massage my face at least once per day for about a two to three minutes or so which helps with loose skin sagging skin and also help with wrinkles and fine line and that also help to enhance the product that you're using on the skin another thing that is great is to get yourself some form of a beauty tool like a gosha a doma roller and they have some wide variety of beauty tools on the market right now that you can try and you can use it to massage your face and this is gonna also help the beauty products that you're using on the skin to work better on your skin now how long should you leave retinol on the skin as i said earlier we tend to use a retinol at night so when you go to sleep with it depending on how long you sleep for eight to ten hours that's how long the retinol is going to be on the skin but if you have to let's say you're traveling and you use of some form of a retinol and you don't get a chance to wash your face after let's say 15 16 17 18 hours it's still okay nothing is gonna happen it's okay to use the retinol that long on the skin